St. John Sunday School kids. This week's lesson is going to be about free from slavery. I'm going to read a little bit about what takes place before that story and a little bit after the story. This part is called the burning bush. Moses was watching his sheep in the hot dry desert. Suddenly he saw a very strange sight. Flames of the fire came from a bush, but the bush did not burn up. Moses squinted his eyes. He looked around the bush one way and he looked around the bush the other way. Moses, Moses, said a loud voice. Moses was scared. Here I am, he said. Take off your shoes, the voice thundered. The place where you are standing is holy ground. Moses kicked off his sandals, keeping his eyes on the flaming bush. I am the God of your fathers, the voice said. Moses hid his face. He was afraid to look at God. I have heard my people crying in Egypt, God said. My people are hurting, and I have come to save them. Wow, thought Moses. How will God do this? Go, said God. I am sending you to Pharaoh to ask him to let my people go. Me, Moses said. Who am I to go to Pharaoh? Who am I to lead your people? He threw himself to the ground and before God, but he kept his eye on the burning bush. I will be with you, God said. Moses trusted God. He was willing to do everything God said. God gave Moses the words and power he needed to talk to Pharaoh and lead the people from Egypt. Here is a picture of the burning bush and Moses. This part of the story is free from slavery. When Moses was alive, the Hebrew people were also called Israelites. Many Israelites were slaves in Egypt. Moses and his brother Aaron were their leaders and went to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. They said, Our God says, Let my people go. I don't believe in your God, shouted Pharaoh. Now get back to work. Hearing this, God said to Moses in a thundering voice, Watch what I will do to Pharaoh. He will let my people go. Tell my people, I will free you all and bring you back to the land I promised Abraham. Because they were had been slaves for so long, it was hard for the people to believe Moses. So God ordered again, Tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Moses worried that Pharaoh might not listen to him, but Moses did what God said. This was hard for Moses to do what God asked. What is the hardest thing that you've ever had to do? The next part of the story is the plagues. God gave Moses a big job. Moses had to stand up to a very stubborn king who was making God's people work as slaves. God told Moses to go to Pharaoh and say, Let my people go. But Pharaoh said, No, I will not let God's people go. Pharaoh wanted the people to worship him, not God. So God used ten ways called plagues to change Pharaoh's mind. God turned the Nile to blood. The river began to stink. Pharaoh watched the river turn red knew his people could not drink it, and Pharaoh still said no. God sent frogs to hop everywhere, even into the beds. Pharaoh heard his bakers scream when frogs even jumped out of their breads, and Pharaoh still said no. Here's a picture of the frogs and Pharaoh. God thought gnats might change Pharaoh's mind. So the people could go free. Gnats swarmed people, goats, and cows. There was no place to flee. And Pharaoh still said no. Flies, thought God, will do the trick. And so God sent a zillion. Pharaoh's house filled up with flies. Outside there were a million. And Pharaoh still said no. God now struck down Pharaoh's herds. The camels all were ill. The donkeys' horses all got sick. His cows fell down. But still the pharaoh said no. Oozy, gooey, icky sores on everybody's skin. God knocked and knocked on pharaoh's heart. Pharaoh never let God in, and pharaoh still said no. Hail pounded, thunder crashed. Pharaoh's plants laid down. Not a tree stood anywhere. All were on the ground, and pharaoh still said no. Let my people go, said God, or I will send a swarm of locusts to devour what's left to do your land more harm, and Pharaoh still said no. Now darkness covered Pharaoh's land, the sun did not appear, 
No one could move and no one could see. Still Pharaoh would not hear and he still said no. The last and saddest plague of all brought sobs throughout the land. Parents cried as their children died. Finally, Pharaoh changed his plans. Pharaoh let God's people go. Out of all those plagues, what plague would you least like to have come to you and your family, and why?